Hello, we will be reading a new uh, web manga today. Uh, just like with Arjuna the Sky, this is another requested series by a friend of mine. Of course, this is the Cursed Island over on Global Comics. I will leave the link to the uh, to this page in the description, uh, as well as any socials. I'm not uh, sure. I mean, I'll, I'll double check if there is any socials and stuff like that. Then I will leave those in the description as well. Uh, again, once again, if you have anything you want me to react to, whether that's a web manga or a you know RPG maker game or a visual novel that you are making yourself and you want me to cover it and you want me to react to it then please let me know down below um or yeah just I whatever really <laughs> I, I'm more than happy to uh, give feedback or you know give my reaction to stuff that doesn't get content made because at the end of the day stuff like this does take a lot of time out of our days and uh, you know it's always good to hear what other people think uh even if it's just one random person person on the internet, so... Today, of course, we'll be starting The Cursed Island. I think due to these chapters being quite a lot longer than the Argent of the Sky ones, uh, lots of, you know, 60-page chapters, 70-page chapters, um, I will be doing these individually, um, but, you know, solely based on chapter rather than all in one. Uh, so this time we'll be taking a look at uh, chapter one, of course, and uh, working our way down as we can. I'm probably going to do the same as I did with Arjuna Sky and upload this once every three days or something like that. Uh, and yeah, as you can clearly see with the orange, like, seek bar or whatever, uh, I have actually read chapter ones through five uh, in the past. Although, to be fair, there's a lot of... Uh, I mean, I'll get to it when we get to it, but this is kind of like a mystery sort of series. So there's a lot of plot points that... I definitely don't remember, and yeah, it's it seems like something that is good to like reread a bunch of times, sort of thing. Um, so yeah, and of course I haven't actually read chapter six um, because yeah, that was a new one. I was just gonna wait until uh, I recorded my blind reaction to that, so we'll get to that in a second. Once again, uh, show your support uh, down the link uh, below, of course, to the Cursed Island. You can go check that out on the Global Comics. For the time being, let's jump into chapter one. Uh, I might as well read the description as well, because it is here. So, the cursed island Wogakapo, I guess, home to many cursed people, an island with many myst uh, mysteries left unsolved. Will the arrival of a new passenger change everything? Interesting. And the cover is like a like an island with a tower in it, I guess. Let's jump into it. Uh, another black and white manga, of course, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what this is all about. It has been a hot minute since I read the first chapter. When actually, when did this come out? This came out in November of last year. I feel like I might have read this like a month after it came out or something like that. Um, so yeah, there you have it. It was uh, yeah, towards the end of it. Well, I suppose it's nearly been a year. Actually, in fact. Um, at the time of this recording, well, by the time this goes up, it's probably going to be a one-year anniversary to the first chapter, so congrats on that. But anyways, okay, uh, here we are, the Cursed Island Wogakapo. Um, not to be confused with Wikapipo, which is a, <laughs> which is a sold-out song. Now, wake up, people, go. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, um, home to many cursed people, just like the description says. And it's a little d desert, I guess, with someone, uh, some fo footprints. The Cursed Island, Chapter 1, The Concert. Cool. Okay. Oh, uh, this way? Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a, like, a, a westernized thing, so, um, I forgot to mention this, but the, it's read in kind of, like, the reverse order. So this, I just want to disclaimer, um, to everyone watching, but also to the, to, to the creator, of course, um, that, uh, they, yeah, there may, might be times where I automatically read it, uh, this story in a different direction without realizing. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Of course, I have grown up reading manga. I have read, um, however many, I, I don't know if it's 20,000 or how many chapters it is, uh, of manga in my life. I've barely ever read Western comics, so, uh, it's just like a, sort of like a automatic sort of mechanism at this point. So, uh, yeah, anyways, how do you read, uh, Western stuff again, it goes left page, right page, right? Yeah, okay. Um, all right, people with abilities that defy science, people with scars, people. And the whole thing is just so exciting. Do you always talk to yourself like that? Am I on the right page? Did I skip something? I didn't skip something, right? Okay. <laughs> um, it's kind of, this kind of like alien looking cloak that this guy's, uh, or girl's wearing. And then uh, two characters talking. Do you always talk to yourself like that? <laughs> I love, well, I already know what th this character's name is, but I love how he ha he's doing the Doffy walk. 
from One Piece um, in that corner there. That's very funny. Okay. Ah, uh, can I help you? No, oh, yeah. But tell me what all that was about. Sounds pretty interesting. Oh, sure, I have just the right thing. I find I found out about that through my favorite blog. It seemed interesting, so I boarded the ship. Hmm. Well, you don't like it? No, it's cool. I'm just surprised. People don't usually come here for shallow reasons. Hey. Again, I automatically really like this character's uh, design. I uh, like the wispy hair. Here's the thing. There's a thing that um, you know people always talk about with character designs. It's like, if you can put a silhouette of them, and you can still somewhat recognize them like after you've experienced the story, that's a pretty good character design, is, is what some people say. Uh, well, it dep- And I think, at least in my take of that, is that... If it's a character that's meant to stand out, whether it's the main character, whether that's whatever, meant to leave an impression, then yeah, absolutely. Um, but also, it is nice to kind of counterplay on that. You know, if you want to make a main character feel um, sort of, I don't want to say generic, sort of just like a normal... If, if the whole concept of the story is the main character is this incredibly normal guy, then of course you would want to avoid that, right? And, and try and make it that, uh, you know, a design that isn't super recognizable. But yeah, it's, it's yeah, character design's always fun to come up with and think about and all that, so... Yeah, okay, awesome. I suppose Homie knows something. Well, you're right, I also came to see my favorite band perform, but what's your reasoning, Spiky Boy? Is it more sophisticated than mine? Not really, I just like the view. How's that any less shallow? I'm Tony, by the way. All right. Uh, all right. My name's Catherine. Catherine Douchebell. Really? What's so weird about that? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Um, I do. I. You know. I, I must admit. I have read. Like I said, some of the latest stuff. I don't remember her eyes looking like that, but I suppose it's the early art syndrome. Also really interesting. Sorry, I didn't mean to click that. Yeah. All the backgrounds so far have been completely black. Which I don't know if that's a stylistic thing or if that's um, symbolizing that it's nighttime, but that is very interesting. Um, oh no, I guess, I guess it is nighttime. Okay, attention passengers, we should we shall soon be arriving at our destination, the cursed island. Could they really not come up with another name? <laughs> I mean, I guess they had the Wagapipo or whatever it's called as well, but still, okay. I guess she's uh, saying goodbye to yeah, homie that he met, yeah, all those people. Walking out twirly. <laughs> okay. I'm finally here. Now to figure out where I'm actually supposed to be staying. I looked it up earlier, but this island is way bigger up close. Go to the street, turn right, go through the creepy alleyway, take a left. Wait, no, a right. Okay, definitely a left over here, and then should be around here somewhere. That's the hotel, and oh, that's very expressive. I like that a lot. Okay. Lining up at the hotel, I suppose. Okay. Very blank room that she's walking into with our luggage. Very square luggage. Sound of luggage being dropped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> guess there's not much here, huh? Except for the huge sized bed. I guess that's what, like a queen sized bed? Ah. Oh my god, she did like a spinning attack. <laughs> like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, always feels nice experiencing a bed in a different setting. That's true, but sometimes the bed can be awful. Um, I stayed at a friend's house once. Well, once? What am I saying? Afraid at the state. I. St- one second, give me a second, I can't talk. I stayed at a friend's house recently, and um, I slept on the bed there, and it was very, like, springy, and it wasn't really to my liking. But anyways, okay. Well, time to unpack. Okay, it's become night again. That took a while, mostly because I was looking at my phone waiting for Tony. Wait, what? Oh, I guess they exchanged numbers at that point. Did she have a thing for him? I don't know. Okay. Ping, speak of the devil, spiky boy, are you coming? Uh, time to do what I came here for. Alright. The band should be arriving shortly, please take your seats and enjoy the show. Ah, I barely made it. Looks like he at least saved me a spot. You really took your time, huh? Ah, uh, whatever, I honestly thought you weren't coming. It's kind of interesting as well, like, with the, oh, with Tony here, like, it sort of looks like he's wearing a cap, but I guess he's wearing a beanie. Like, because if he was wearing a cap and he's facing the camera, basically... It would look sort of like that, right? Um, so yeah, no, that's super interesting. But anyways. Hey, a girl can be a little late. You weren't even interested in this until a few days ago. People change, jeez. Not... Oh, so a few days have passed. Oh, okay. I suppose that makes sense with all the constant shifting of the um, the two suns and night and stuff, right? Okay, fair enough. Um, not that fast. Also, I think that's them coming up on stage. Well, hey, it's the band I like. 
Okay. Before we begin, I wanted to say a few words of gratitude. I know a lot of you have traveled far just to watch this event. It's also, I, I mean, I don't know if I should be commenting on stuff like this or not, but it is nice to see that there's like different characters with like tons of different skin tones. Um, like, you know, I'm not, like, an advocate for, like, you know, full-on diversity or anything like that, but it, it is nice to see, just in terms of, like, a color palette thing, like, you know, um, Taite Kubo is a really good example of uh, having characters that aren't, like, technically black, but they're black-coded, if that makes sense, like Yoruichi, like, uh, Kaname Tosen, all these characters that are clearly, like, Japanese in terms of their upbringing, but you know, they've, they've been inspired by, like, um, you know, actual black, like, people that maybe, uh, you know, existed, or, like, their, their style, their fashion, that sort of thing. I think it's really cool. Um, and yeah, no, like, I, I, yeah, I've, I can only think of a couple times where I have a darker skinned character in, in some of my work, so I'm definitely trying to learn more about that and, and figure out when to, um, you know, implement something like that. But uh, no, it's it's right off the bat. It's really nice how diverse this is. But yeah, anyways. Can I express how much this means to us? You've followed us far and wide and listened to our stories live many times. Thank you. Why are they performing on a cursed island? Though? That's, you know, it's, I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I hope we can make tonight another unforgettable experience for you all. Hit it, Johnny. One, two, three, four. Oh. And they disappeared. Thud. Hey, Tony, did you say that? You mean, did you not say that? Because they disappeared. Oh. Hermes disappeared as well. Something is definitely up. You think? <laughs> Where'd security go? Russell. Okay. This guy's definitely running away from me. I need backup. Tony, I know I'm chasing... D oh, okay, so I suppose Tony's... Yeah, run off. I know I'm chasing down one of them already. One of them? There seem to be four. Two already got taken care of. What are they doing? They want to kidnap the band members, it looks like. Catherine, if you say the last guy, don't engage. He may be dangerous if you're unarmed. I see the guy nice and clear, Tony. That's why I must engage. <laughs> so shonen. I love it. Okay. And the pose as well. Hey, you dropped the lady at once. There's no way left to run. Okay. And uh, cloaked character. Cloaked figure. A stopwatch. Oh. He can stop time by pressing the the top button of the stopwatch. No, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. As I thought, there are many cursed artifacts on this island that can manipulate time and space. Pretty OP, but yeah, okay. He must be able to stop time, but why for such a short amount? Um, probably because if it wasn't, he'd be a little bit too broken. He must have some sort of physical limit. Okay, ran into the back of the alleyway, and some thunder came striking down. Listen to her before it's too late. Whether you go to jail or not doesn't matter, just hear my two cents. You really should unhand that person. Okay. And, uh, drop. Um... You know, okay, so far, one thing I can really, um, uh, what's the opposite of criticize? Um, what is the opposite? The compliment. One thing I can really compliment about this so far is that the, um, because the line art is so well defined and the art style is very simple, I've, I haven't struggled at all in terms of like taking a look at, oh, I see, that's what's happening. Um, but I suppose this is the first panel the drop panel where I'm a little bit confused. I think, uh, I think the figure drops the, uh, the singer down or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can kind of see her hair in the top corner. I suppose the whole thing's meant to be her body. I don't know. Okay. And, uh, he's pulled out his stopwatch. Crack. Oh, he crushed the stopwatch? Okay. And everyone's put to, uh, to sleep, I suppose, or, you know, paused, I guess. What? Froze us in time, so now you won't be able to escape. Or just these two. <laughs> Alright, I I guess Catherine's just OP. She just dodges a punch like that. Wait, you have a limit right away. Why are you doing this? Why are they kidnapping? Why are you after me now? Please explain. Maybe we can reason this out. Are you just saying that because you know I'm dangerous? Oh, sorry. Okay. But if I waste more energy on a strike like that, I might croak faster than you. And I will tell you, so listen closely. <laughs> I'm going to tell you my evil plan. <laughs> I will tell you my full-on backstory. No, it's it's very anime. I dug up. I lost my parents when I was very young. I didn't know what to do with myself. I wasn't sad about it, but I knew that something was missing. Teachers uh, would pity me while other kids constantly talked about their parents. I couldn't distract myself from it until I saw them. By chance, they were performing in my city. Their music wasn't anything special to me, but they made me feel like I had a purpose in all this. 
Oh, I see, and then homie became really um, obsessive. If you're wondering, I like using the word homie to describe people because uh, it's a very good gender neutral term that you can use. <laughs> but anyways, okay. They made me feel happy to be alive. My life seemed to have turned over a new leaf. Animal Crossing? Sorry, uh, I could finally get past all my problems. I watched every concert, I saw every little thing they ever put out, I listened to every song, I was happy, but I couldn't have grown up uh, a normal child. There just had to be something in my way, that empty inside felt that it came back, like it never truly left. I was scared, I didn't know what to do, and what came to my mind, I already knew it was wrong. I stalked them, I looked at every bit of information I could find on them, I found out where they lived, and spent every walking moment, not walking, waking moment looking at them. Okay, I couldn't, whoa, is that meant to be like symbolic of like, I don't know, like an embryo or, or something like that, like, sort of this childlike innocence almost of like, not knowing right from wrong, am I looking too deep into this, I don't know, I do feel like that's symbolic though, I don't know, I couldn't sleep that night, that's when he showed up, okay, couldn't move a muscle, but I know what he said to me, if happiness is what you truly desire, devote yourself to me, you may be worth something yet. It's kind of reminding me of, like, D. Grey Man, you know. Not that I'm, like, caught up, but I did read the first couple volumes of that. And there was, like, that evil demon guy who would go around collecting children, collecting troubled children <laughs> to be evil with, you know. When I awoke, some sort of watch was in my hands. I thought it was just a regular item, but I could freeze time. But my no body noticed a defect. Oh, every time he used it, he becomes older, I guess. I knew I wasn't going to last long, I decided I'd turn my time remaining uh, into a grand final act. A few stolen goods convince a group of lowlifes to join me in it easily. My limit, however, you wanted to know about that, right? The watch, it trades my body life, body's life to stop everyone else's. Perf perfectly tailored to me, huh? Surprised, I don't blame you. No, it's just, your story doesn't quite track. I love the Kindaichi pose there, <laughs> with the pointing. Um, but anyways, okay. What were you planning on doing with the members? You said it was some sort of final act, right? Uh, but whatever your plan was, how do you know so much about the watch? You knew it was going to freeze us in time. It's hard to believe it was just a last-ditch effort. Okay. You only assume it was the man who sent you here, whether you cooperated out of desperation or not. Seems like a real far-fetched theory, kid. Care to back any of that up? I don't need to. Miss case scenario, you were duped by some higher power now taking it out on me. The man wanted you to give up on hope, give up on anything you had left. And you did, then you took some bad turns. You messed up pretty bad. There's still a way out of this, you haven't gone too far yet. Well, he's probably only got about three days left of his life expectancy, you know? If you give up here, the rest of your life may even be pretty good, but I won't force, force you to, it's your choice. Listen, if you don't, I won't back down either. I suppose she has a cursed object as well. I genuinely don't remember, which is the funny part. <laughs> I actually genuinely don't remember if she had a superpower or not. Haha, <laughs> it's already too late. You fool. <laughs> it's always like that, isn't it? But I can at least take you down with me. Hope you have a uh, uh, fun in hell, kid. Oh, he used it too much that he turned into bones and uh, died before he could even touch her. Okay, they're all awake now. Is that all? Yes, thank you for bringing this to our attention. After I confirm this with the others, you'll be released. It shouldn't take long now. When someone wanted to visit you, I do... Yeah, it's interesting with this character. I believe his name is Neo. Um, but this character, he... Hmm, I can't tell if he's another species of, like, alien or something like that. Or if it's just all the costume or some sort of get-up. Or if it's some sort of power. I don't know. But, yeah, it's interesting. Yo, guy. <laughs> okay. Wait, she knew. She knows his name, though. Uh, I guess. What brings you to my jail cell? The grey walls are just really inviting. <laughs> okay. Are they having a bit of a moment? Do they have a thing? So, yeah, today was kind of eventful. What do you think? Aside from all the stuff tonight, this island is pretty cool. I don't regret coming. What about you? I like it here. I mean, you seemed pretty on top of things earlier. I was. What, really? You said I seemed like it. That spidey looking dude is my teacher, told me how to beat up guys and stuff. The spidey looking dude? I guess the guy with the glasses there on the right. I don't recognize that character design, but okay. Told me how to beat up guys and stuff. Oh cool, you gotta show me sometime. Not really. I love Tony's like nonchalantness of not caring about anything. <laughs> He's definitely my favorite character in this whole thing. Anyway, you'll be getting out here soon. The guards will take care of the rest, so we shouldn't have to worry. Hope you're okay with putting everything at today behind you. And that's how it works around here, but yeah, I think I'm ready. I don't know what to do now, though. I mostly came for the concert. Concert's still on. Wait, what? 
The members are fine and guards have found no new threats. They'll also be in forced security, so it should be fine. Miss Catherine, you have been discharged. Wanna go? <laughs> Heck yeah. Hit it, Johnny. One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay. You're really into this, huh? You're not into it hard enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, mm. someone took a photo, I guess. Thud. End of chapter one. Oh, okay, nice. We got a little profile page that I might leave up to uh, you guys to check out on your own. If you're interested, go ahead over to the Global Comics link and uh, take a look yourself. So you can do uh, nice little reactions here as well as input some comments if you have something to say. Um, but anywho, I guess we'll end this off here for now. Um, there isn't a ton to add so far, just because, uh, the, you know, it's literally just introducing everything. Um... Yeah, it is interesting that this this is first chapter isn't really like an origin story or, you know, the main characters, either one of them, haven't really shown what they're capable of. It's just kind of this vague sort of pilot or episode zero almost uh, of, um, you know, like the, the enemy's uh, power and stuff, but like also just like this world, right? Like, okay, there's cursed abilities and stuff like that. Um... Going forward, I'm, I'm assuming at least uh, a lot of these powers are going to work in this way of you can do A thing if you're okay with getting rid of B thing, if that makes sense. For instance, you can stop time, but if, uh, you know, if you the more you stop it, you age more, you know. There'll be like a consequence and a reward system, I feel. Um, so that'll be interesting to check out. But uh, yeah, anywho, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was an interesting read for sure. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's a super unique series, and, and I have, like, I literally have no idea, like, with stuff like, like, even Argent of the Sky that we read last time, like, there was a general direction that I was kind of, um, like, I could see it being hinted at, or I could see where it was going a little bit, but with this, I literally have no idea, um, it could go anywhere, I don't know if the whole series takes place on the one island, or they go to different places, or what, um, you know, at the end of the day, like, the main character, Catherine's already finished her objective, right? She wanted to come here to listen to the band, uh, whatever, so she's gonna have to find a new goal, or there's gonna have to be a new problem that keeps her on the island, or something like that. But there's only one way to find out, uh, all of that, and, uh, that is by continuing to read. Of course, you can read all six chapters that are out right now, right this moment, uh, if you want to go do so, please go to the global links, uh, sorry, the global comics link in the co uh, description below. Uh, but for the time being, I will be checking this out uh, one chapter at a time. I will see you guys next time with chapter two. I will do that in a couple days' time, so I hope to see you all there. Anyways, um, I am going to end things off here, so uh, yeah, bye-bye.